Hey guys, welcome back to Tomorrow 16. I am your host Chivona, and today we're going to have a quick little video that I'll be showing you guys how to run Atelier Sophie 2, the mysterious something something book or whatever dream for the PC on a low end PC. Yeah, that's right. Today we're having our i7 4790 with the Intel HD 4600 to help us out on the system. By the end of this, this is going to look terrible, but hey, we're going to be getting some good frames. Right off the bat, we're running at 960 by 540 on the lowest preset, and we are managing to hit over 30 FPS, but what happens when you think, what happens when we go outside? Nothing good happens when we go outside. I can guarantee though, uh, after the end of this video, I can get this game to run over 30 FPS at all times. Now, unfortunately, it's because Koei Tecmo is a bad port, so the GPU can't even fully utilize its 100%. As you can see, my GPU is at 88%. Why is it only at 88%? There's nothing stopping this from hitting 100. My CPU is like at 8%. It's breezing, right? So this is the issue. Atelier Sophie 2 is just really unoptimized because of that GPU utilization issue. So we can't even get full frames out of it. It's struggling to keep up. We're getting about 19 FPS. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get into one battle real quick. And then we're going to go out into the config file where I will change around some settings where I disable shadows and I'll set it to 640 by 360 to get this game to run at over 30 FPS at all times. Now, we don't need to go to 640 by 360, but just for the purpose of the video, I will. Because we're not hitting 30, you're not hitting 30 with the just 960 by 540, you're not. You're just not. It's not happening. The game is way too demanding for that. I'm just not optimized enough. But nonetheless, this isn't the best, but I will get this more playable. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, stick around for more epic content, and let's get into changing the config. I'll see you guys in a bit. Layer Sophie 2 config file to get the game running. Real quick, we're going to go into our documents folder. It's going to be really here under Koei Tecmo. It's going to be at Layer Sophie 2. And here is the settings folder. Now you're simply going to use uh, these settings here, which is 640. You're going to simply put this down to 640 by 360. Now you don't need to go this far, but if you would like to, uh, you can do so. And change the shadow quality to 3, not 0, because the 0 is low. 3 is where the shadows are taken off completely. And leave everything else on 0, and then we just go back in and launch the game. It's and here we are with the tweak set in place. Ali Array is running at 640 by 360 on the lowest preset with shadows disabled. And here we are managing to pull over 30 FPS, way bigger than what we were pulling before. The game was a big improvement, even in the open world areas, which this area is very demanding. And it handles this area quite well. I remember we were getting how much lower FPS we were getting in this area. Here we can get over 30 with ease now, and you know, it's a breeze. Some parts are going to get over 40 FPS. It'll do really well now all of a sudden. What more can you want? But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. This has been Atelier Sophie 2. Uh, let me get into one battle first just to show you guys combat better. But hey, I would recommend you still need some good RAM to run the game. But other than that, it runs it runs well. Because look at it, it's going up to 8 gigs of RAM, basically. It needs it needs a bit of RAM, guys. <laughs> let's, not, let's not play around here. It needs some RAM. But other than the RAM, you're good. I'm gonna hit you with double impact. Again. You see, so this will be a 30 FPS experience at all times going forward. Oh, I've used too much, too much of that. I'll see you guys next time.